I mean, you're a hero. You're telling people you're scamming them. You know, I just don't want to scam, so I'm just telling you that this is a scam. Good for you, man. You don't have to. You don't have to stoop low enough to everyone else around you. Just know that you are yeah. a you are a better man than everyone else around you. Hey guys, so as you could probably tell, my channel is relatively new, and I only have like 20 subscribers. So it would help me out a lot if you could click subscribe and uh, like the video if you liked the video. All right, that's enough e-begging. Let's get right into the content. Okay, so today we're on Bob RTC. If you don't know, it's a free way to call scammers and annoy them, waste their time. I think it's a great service, you know, putting scammers' numbers out there and letting you call them anonymously for free. I think it's just smart. We should be trying to waste these people's time so that they can't uh, mess with our uh, elders. So, yeah, let's just start by calling one of these scumbags. Thank you for calling Citizens Disability. My name is Ryan. To yeah. better assist you, may I have your zip code, please? Ryan, why do you keep calling me? Uh, we don't make outgoing calls, sir. I'm freaking I do pissed about it. Okay. Ryan, you I better you better stop calling this number right now, and I'm not even joking. I will go down there to Uzbekistan or wherever you're from. And I will raise hell. Uh, sir, I'm from the USA, first off, okay? And then just to go ahead and let you know, we do not make outgoing calls. I do apologize. However, your call, your uh, phone number may have been entered into an automatic dialer by mistake. Yeah, that's what they call and it, robocalls. Start the call. Now, if you're unhappy, which I understand... You can call the federal do not call list at HTT or at HTTPS www.donotcall.gov or call 1-888. Do you got a pen and paper handy? Who the fuck uses pen and paper nowadays? No, of course not. Of course not. Okay. Don't use that language, please, sir. Thank you. Well, then, I have a number to call or you can go, uh, you can log on to www.donotcall.gov and put your number uh, on the do not call list. Do you know that there are numerous lawsuits filed against this robocaller in U.S. federal court over extreme amounts of robocalling with an automated dialer? I'm sure there are, sir. I get 100 calls a day. Just kind of scummy business okay, practices. Sir. Okay, well, was there anything else I could help you with today? If not, thank you for calling. Hello? Yeah, I got a call from the Social Security Administration. Okay, when did you get a call? Um, maybe like four hours ago. That's a scam, sir. What? That's a scam. They... They told me that they were going to file legal enforcement on my Social Security number. No, no that's, that's a scam. Oh my God, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? Hello? Yeah, is this the Social Security Administration? No. It's not? This is a scam. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is a scam. I didn't call and it's by a computer, but I'm telling you the truth, this is a scam. Why, why are you doing this? Doing what? Scamming people? I mean, you're a hero. You're telling people you're scamming them. You know, I just don't want to scam, so I'm just telling you that this is a scam. Good for you, man. You don't have to you don't have to stoop low enough to everyone else around you. 
Just know that you are yeah. a you are a better man than everyone else around you. There in the in in United States, why uh, some people why why you why they used to believe in the phone calls or in voicemail? Why do they believe? Well, isn't the scam to target uh, elderly people who don't really understand? Mm. You know, ever, people's awesome. people's mothers and grandmothers. Mm. Yeah, but uh, sometimes young young people like twenty five years or maybe thirty one, thirty two years, they fall into scam. They used to pay. They got scammed. I know. I can't believe that. <clears throat> Why would anybody believe in a voice call? Why would they believe that? Why Why would they trust them? Some people are. Uh, they used to pay more than fifty dollars, fifty thousand dollar, like fifty thousand, like eighty thousand. Some people used to do that. So I was like, come on, man. There in the United States, if you got fifty dollars, uh, what you can do? Are you rich? What? Oh no! He just hung up out of nowhere. That guy was going off. That was so sad. That guy didn't want to scam. Bless that man. I talked to him twice. I don't even know what to think after that. That was just like emotional. Hello? Hello, is this the dumb dumb Indians that crazy in your country? Yes. You are stupid and a piece of shit and located in Calcutta, India, and uh, hopefully the police will get to you soon enough. You are a piece of shit. No, you. No, sweetie, I don't scam people for money. You do. Wait, what? No, sweetie, you scam people for money. Fuck off, eat shit and die. Hey, you're the scammer, bucko. How, how the fuck do you even look yourself in the mirror? Fuck off. Scamming all the people pretending to be social security. Get, get the lives. You're the scammer. You are wasting your life. Like, you're... literally. The food, you, the food that you eat would have been better fed to dogs. You don't what sound you don't sound like you're in a call center right now. Why is that? No, you are a piece of shit. In India. Are you in a call center? Wait, hold on a second. Let's, let's What's your name? What's your name? Fake name, whatever, I don't care. Oh, my name is Kevin Smith from Technical Support. Oh, this is hilarious. So, uh, I'm trolling scammers. Are you using they Bob are... RTC? They're... Me? No. <laughs> Baby. I, I don't know anything. I don't know anything. Let's well, let's just say I'm not the one that scams people. Oh uh, well, I'm not either. Did did this shit just connect us? What the fuck? I think they connected us together. So let's dial back in. Yeah, that's awkward. Time road. Hello. Hey, is this the Social Security Administration? No, this is a scam. Hey, is it you again, man? Sorry. Is this you again? I guess so. The hero. We hey spoke. man, you you gotta get out there. You gotta get out of there as soon as possible. You gotta get into the real world. Yeah, I'm trying to after this lockdown. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Good for you, man. Cause oh, cause of this lockdown, I can't go anywhere. I can't go out. That's understandable, man. Hey, you gotta don't don't let anyone else influence you to do the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. I hope you stay safe, man. You too. Stay safe. Keep thinking good. You're doing the right thing. Yes, so. Is it hard to live in India? <laughs> too hard, bro. <laughs> too much. Yeah. How much do you usually uh 
<laughs> how, how much do you usually make a week? A week? Yeah. Nothing, man. Nothing. In a week, nothing. You, you, may, you don't make any money? Yeah. Well, then why no, are you... this is your number, so we're going to get... Um, uh, yeah. I'm going to get in touch with you tomorrow, okay? I'm going to go. Okay. Good luck, man. All right. All right. You have a wonderful, wonderful night. Yep. Thank you. Stay blessed. Mm -hmm. Sure. You too. Have a good one, man. God, that guy's going to make me cry, dude. That guy's going to make me cry. That's some sad shit, bro. I got a... I gotta save that number and try to talk to that guy or whatever. I think that's where we gotta end the video. I pray for my man who's locked in that call center not getting paid. Hopefully we could free him. Hopefully I could talk to him again because uh, it, it, it actually seemed like he didn't want to do it. And it was pretty emotional, so we'll see. I don't know. The vibe of this whole video is kind of fucked up. I don't even know. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate you. Uh, just just appreciate that you're more blessed than that man who's stuck in the call center, you know. All right. God bless.